dirty your feet are. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay. Yes. Good boy. You're so dirty. You love attention. You love attention. Welcome to our channel. This is Lincoln the King Corso. Say hi. Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> this is my new puppy. Had to do a lot right now. He. Uh, I let him play outside and he got into some mud and I didn't notice or realize he tracked in so much mud into the house and like everywhere here I could not sit, I had to mop, I had to shower or rinse him off. Yeah, so we got him April 9th of this year, 2021. We got him from one of my oldest friends. They breed King Corsos. I was actually not looking into getting one. He just stumbled upon our lives. I love animals, as you can probably tell from my many animal videos. Um, or my actually my other channel, Ellie Bear 14. Go ahead and check that out. Um, yeah, that channel I have uh, more of my other animals, and this is gonna be just just of him. You know, his growing up and everything about him. We had him for about a month until. He became ours officially. That was May 3rd and it took us about a week to decide if we were going to keep him. Um, we wanted to just make sure because we do have other two other dogs and one is a Doberman. That's the first one we got um, a few months before moving into this house. We got a Rottweiler. One of our neighbors had like a litter of 13 and they were just looking for good homes so we got her for free we did want a companion for our Doberman so that's why we got her and we they told us she was a Rottweiler but um, she has like certain features that make us think that she might be crossed with a German Shepherd maybe but uh, who knows and then we got him our Doberman is her birthday is May 31st, uh, 2017, <laughs> and Misty, which is our Rottweiler, they didn't really know the birthday, so we just gave her a birthday of June 10th of last year, so she's already a year and a half, and we have Lincoln, we also have a pig, and they're all together, they all get along, and Lincoln here, his birthday is January 6th of this year. Um, we are August 27 today so he's gonna be nine months in about a week and a half. One day I was scrolling through Instagram on my stories and they needed, uh, my old friend needed a foster for this little guy here. He contracted parvo. He almost died. They had to do like treatments and everything. Um, they had previously sold him to another couple but he ended up getting parvo. I'm not really sure what happened. Um, all we know is that he got sick and once he was hospitalized and had to go home they were looking for a foster family and so I DM'd them and I was like yes I'm interested. <laughs> I love taking care of animals. Help, helpless animals in need. That's my kryptonite right there. <laughs> So we took him in and at first he was very very thin, very very malnourished and obviously when puppies get parvo they, they can die. They lose appetite, um, energy, just it's, it's scary, it's really scary and the doctors they saved his life. He was on IV fluids and a bunch of medications. When we took him in, I had to give him all his medications every 12 hours. So that was like twice a day medication. And he had a specific diet that he had to be on. Everything had to be cooked. And so when we first got him, he had low energy. He slept a lot. He slept all day. Very lethargic and 
he's he had a low very very low appetite mm -hmm. when he came into our our care he was about uh, 14 pounds underweight compared to his siblings he I think his siblings were around 38 pounds so he, he was really really underweight for his size at the time now he's much better he's bigger he was pretty calm he was very calm for a puppy um, I've had lots of puppies in the past and I, I was always so used to just very active puppies so I knew he was he was really sick and he had like a swollen ankle I'll insert a few clips pictures um, when we first got him what he looked like and they gave us a crate for him um, we tried crate training but he really hated it he just hates to be alone um, I put him in the in the restroom while like cleaned up because I didn't want him to get dirty again and he was just he was crying very 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 loud <laughs> so in the beginning when I was starting to do crate training I've never done crate training on all my other dogs before so that was, that was an experience <laughs> I didn't really care too much for it I just mm. I like them to just be happy and roaming roaming around so I tried it for the first couple of days sleepless nights <laughs> after that I was just like nope 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 we're just gonna let you be contained to a room and so he was in this room so he was in here with me and I had puppy pads everywhere and he peed on everywhere but the puppy pads it was really hard to house train him he still doesn't really have it down I'm not really sure why it's taking him so long? Nixie, my Doberman, she got it right away. Misty, she's she's good now. She was she was also it took her a while too. This one is he just likes to mark. He just likes to you know pee wherever he pleases. So right away, I started uh, obedience training, and I did it with his food. So at every meal time, he had to work for his food. I did a lot of hand feeding so he could get used to hands being around his mouth and messed with his paws, his tail, tugged with his tail because we do have kids so I want him to be okay with and familiar with all of that and then we do have some kids in the family and I did bring him around a lot of family, friends and family and he met so many people in the very beginning. I was doing a lot of research on Kane Corsos and I was getting a little bit frightened because there's a lot of horror stories and I I don't know, I, I just, I was concerned, especially because in the very beginning, uh, he had this issue with people getting near his face. He snapped at, he snapped at my partner a couple times, and once in his face, like, like, snapped like that, and also my eldest, my eldest girl, he also snapped at her in the beginning, and he growled a lot when it came to being near his face or hugging him <clears throat> hugging him like that um, he hated that now he's pretty much gotten over it like we did a lot of exposure therapy with him just fancy way of saying <laughs> exposed him a lot to that and um, associated good feelings with those dislikes of his so that helped a lot that actually pretty much got rid of that dislike and it took a lot it was sure not to overdo it because I didn't want him to get too uncomfortable with that so when we introduced him to our friends and family we just made sure that we stayed away from unvaccinated dogs or young puppies young dogs and whenever he would poop because the virus it's in the it's in their poop whenever he would poop after I would clean up I would carry around this bottle of germicide that killed the parvo virus so I would just soak it soak the area just make sure not to spread that disease around his confidence is still pretty low right now with certain things he 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 is very skittish for a guard dog, I don't think he would guard me if there was ever any danger. <laughs> He'd run first before guarding me. But 
I'm pretty sure through time he'll he's still a puppy so it's it, it'll just take time and during the day he's okay it's at nighttime when he gets more skittish because I don't really walk him at nights right now I'm trying to do that more often so he can so he can get used to that when we're walking his guard is up um, at nighttime throughout the whole walk and it's really hard to do any kind of training and um, I try to do training at different times of the days of different environments just to get his obedience level skills higher um, and build on that but he's a very smart dog he's he's really smart he's really lovable very caring so it took us about a month to decide on keeping him and after that we took him to the vet to get his next round of shots. He already had his first shots uh, and his next round of shots. He was gaining weight about 5 pounds a week after that month. It took him a, a couple weeks to recover from the parvo and he started to regain his energy. He was acting more like a puppy. He's still sleeping a lot but not as it was in the beginning and we took him camping hiking swimming he's done he's done a lot he's met other cane corsos um there's this meetup cane corso meetup that old friend sent me the information and i was like let's go we went that same day that he sent it and we met a lot well that it was the wrong day but it was a good thing we went because we were able to check out the place and and see where we would park and everything so it was okay it was quite a drive it took us about 40 minutes to get there from our house and that day we ended up going to i believe a, a bridal shower and we took him as well he's met all my family already they all love him every time they meet him because he's he's different than all the other dogs that we've ever had he's very calm very sweet aren't you Aren't you home? We've taken him to stores, pet stores, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. We've taken him to a lot of places. And every time he gets, he's super popular with strangers. They come up and pet him. Um, we want him to get used to that as well because we want to take him with us to a lot of, a lot of places. And whenever we go, we don't want him to just snap and I mean we we're still I'm still attentive when I take him out body language and everything but for the most part he's he's pretty good he's met babies he's met all different kinds of people of different sizes of different ages I want him to be comfortable with people so he does good he hasn't barked or anything and at, at anyone and also once he was fully recovered from the parvo we introduced him to uh, our dogs they're older and i had gotten them vaccinated about a day or two before he came to our home so i felt okay with him being around them i wasn't as concerned but i still segregated him uh, he was indoors and I just kept the other two outdoors. He got along with them. He loved them. Uh, he just wanted to be with, with, with them. But he, he enjoyed being with us too. And he also gets along with our pig. Her name is Esme. He does pretty good. He loves to chase chickens. Loves to chase chickens and cats. We do have some outside cats that we care for. And every time they run, he runs after them. And then also our chickens, because our chickens are scared of, of our dogs. I also have our chickens segregated in the backyard. And in the beginning, when, I, when he was smaller, I did let him in so he can be used to our chickens. But as he started to regain his energy, he started to chase them. And so that's when I knew he has that hunting instinct, for sure. I know that if I ever left the gate open, he will attack our chickens. <laughs> and <sighs> so I just make sure I keep him away from them. Um, so he doesn't, you know. But when we first got him, it was kind of a shock uh, having a puppy again. I kind of forgot what it was like. and But then it was different because I, I didn't have to, all my other puppies, I've never had to give them 
daily medicine. It's been really fun having him in our lives. It was, I think, one of the best decisions, one of the many best decisions <laughs> that we've made, um, keeping him and, and loving him and getting to know him and his personality. I'll do another video on his personality and probably have it linked somewhere. Check the description down below for a lot of like, information, any kind of information. It's been a joy having him, getting to know him and his personality, playing with him and seeing him grow. He's just, he's amazing. Everything that we've done, it's, it's been super fun. Not at all from what I've read with the guarding instinct. Uh, he doesn't have that high of a guard instinct, at least not yet. He's, he's only eight months. We'll see how he's like in the future, but for now, he's such a sweetheart. He, he, he would not hurt a fly. He gets along with our family, he gets along with my family, my extended family, friends, other dogs. He does pretty good. In the very beginning, he was pretty skittish. His confidence was pretty low with other dogs if they were barking at him. Um, but now he's gotten used to it, and he does good with other dogs for the most part. So this is him, this is how he is. <laughs> he just sleeps, he sleeps a lot. I've also noticed that he hates the heat. He doesn't do very well with the heat. His energy is really, when it was cooler back in the spring after he recovered before the heat came, the heat wave came, uh, he was pretty, pretty energetic. And then once the heat hit, his energy went down. He prefers to be inside he doesn't really like to stay outside for too long. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's all. I think that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so I don't wanna make this video too long. I'll try to edit it and have organize it so that it's like easier to follow. But thanks for coming to our channel, and I'll post some more videos. I'll try to do either daily or every other day. But I'll have a new video coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I'll see you soon. Bye. Say bye. Thanks for watching. I'm trying to say, oh my god. No.